Hi, welcome back to the first edition of the Doohickeys Learn Their Own Songs. I have with me Mr. Eugene Edwards. Hello, everybody. He played the guitar solo on Rain It In Cowboy. And I played rhythm on that song, so I have no clue how to play that solo. Even live, I don't play that solo, so... Will you teach me how this thing works? Now's not the time or place, Jack. Okay, okay, I'll call you tomorrow. No, yeah, exactly, so <laughs> yes, I will. Uh, so, uh, going back to, so that, when I walked in, I believe I had a demo of the song. Yep, we sent you uh, a blank slate. Right, and so, uh, you know, what's obvious there, so I always start when coming up with a solo. Uh, there's a bit of a moment where, hopefully, if you get to think about it ahead of time, mm -hmm. um, we call that the conceptualization phase of the whole thing. Uh, and in soloing, there's usually, basically there's three approaches in song-based music. You can either play the melody, the vocal melody, which is not a bad idea. Um, another option is to create a completely new melody over the chord changes that are in that spot. Uh, and another one is where you just kind of just riff over the riff. Now, so the song has this obvious riff. So that's the riff in the verse. And over the chorus, it has this flat seven move. So it goes to the four. And that's essentially what, we're, what I was gonna be soloing over. So and obviously when Jack has this overdrive on the rhythm, so, and it's this straight four, four medium tempo rock beat. So I hear it and I'm thinking AC, DC. Yep. <clears throat> and which I think is pretty funny because our narrator is a woman at a bar and she's actually telling a guy to ease with the male energy and we come in, but it's over an ACDC thing. So uh, this is what I'm hearing and thinking as I'm approaching the solo. So I'm thinking, well, let's go Angus Young. Yes. Uh, and, and specifically the solo to You Shook Me All Night Long, uh, which I know most people probably don't think of it as a country guitar solo, but I hear country technique in it all over the place. So I thought this would be a good, um, it's a grandfather to the solo. That's a really nice way of saying, boy, did I rip this off. <laughs> so and actually, Are we gonna get sued now because of you? <laughs> what's this wee shit? So, uh, Me and Haley I'm over actually, here. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to, and I'm gonna show you, so I'm, I'm actually <laughs> quoting a few solos yes. uh, from other records that are tucked in here. Uh, so this is also, yeah, so this is a, a bit of a lesson on how to be inspired. Um, coming in, I was, the, the intro, I wanted to grab attention. And um, oh, by the way, another thing that I'm gonna do that Angus does a lot in that solo is I'm actually gonna switch between minor pentatonic and major pentatonic in the key of A. Yep. Uh, and I'll explain what those are a little bit later. So coming in, I actually uh, uh, borrow from the solo uh, from uh, Middle of the Road by The Pretenders. And in that, Robbie McIntosh says this. That sort of thing, in A, in an A minor pentatonic. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking of that as well. So I come in with a double stop bend. So pinky on fret eight on your B string. Ooh. Ring finger, fret seven on the G. Got it. Now, you're not gonna use the pick here. You're gonna use the middle finger and your ring finger to, to pluck each string, right? Middle on G, ring on B. Of course, the B string is going to stay still. That's going to be, we're actually doing something called ostinato. What? One note is going to stay still and another one's going to be moving. They made a name for that? They did a long time ago. <laughs> it's clearly Swedish. Um, so you're going to bend a full stop bend. Uh, but, and it's going to start, um, let's go, it just sounds like, and kind of at tempo. Uh, so obviously you're gonna let that bend down slowly as you're playing. So you're raining it in. Now, by the way, this hybrid is what we're doing here. So we're using our fingers, that's a little bit country. Then we're gonna use the pick and that's a little bit, I don't know. Uh, 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 so because <laughs> right after that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come up with something, will Ostentatious. You? Ostentatious. Because um, when we come out of this bend, you're gonna kind of do a, a, a blues lick going down. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want to go with hybrid picking. Great. So we have the, the, the first uh, bend. That's our first overall phrase. And obviously this is going over an A minor pentatonic thing. You, and uh, which, you know, suitable over this kind of this. You can kind of get away with it over this change. So uh, you want to give that a shot? Something like that? Yeah, try it again. Got a 
here you go. Strings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's important too. By the way, you want to strike <laughs> the strings of the guitar yeah. and press them down into yeah. the fretboard of the guitar in order to produce sound. <laughs> I told you not to embarrass me. I'm, I'm, I'm what, did you say red I'm turning? Uh, I'm already naturally red from rosacea, but now the, I'm not gonna just go full tomato. Uh, okay, so so that's so that's the first leg. We're gonna think yeah. of this thing really in kind of, cause we're, we're working in three positions. So there's that one there, kind of fifth position or fifth fret. Um, notice also that phrase, just call, always remember how to wrap up that phrase. You're gonna land on A natural. So that's the that's the root note of our, of our key. Is there an unnatural A? Why do we call it unnatural? That's pretty unnatural. That's yeah. a <laughs> wow, those are unnatural. That's okay. right, and uh, and it's it's rare. To, yeah, it's rare that we have something uh, that we're that's that's natural <laughs> considering we're in L A. Yeah, uh, but uh, so that's the first riff, uh, and uh, and again, I don't really remember. Well, no, just work out how many how long you hold that out. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. How you feeling I'm, today? Yeah. You could do it like a little faster. Either way, but you're gonna come down at that, that point and also wrap it up on your root note there. Then the next, and then we right away, here's the where the you shook me all night long thing comes in because I'm actually gonna shift up. So now we're, if your cage system folks think of it as kind of a C shape uh, A major chord. Right. But we're really just gonna work the B string and, and uh, just the B, uh, G and B string. Now bending 12th fret B string up a full step, which means we're going up to a, a C sharp, which is the major third of the key of A, uh, as where we had heard a C natural here and here at the top of the solo, that's what makes it minor. But that we're bending up to C sharp makes it major. And this is something that Angus Young does in that you Shook Me All Night Long solo, um, where he vacillates between the minor and the major. Uh, so that's kind of what that's doing. And also, real Angus Young thing to do is when you do, do a full step bend, and when you reach your target pitch, that's where you put the vibrato in there. So. I'll have to work on that. Work on that. Now, that's actually harder than people think it is. That's, I don't know, how do you even do that? Oh, well, uh, uh, magnificently. <laughs> <laughs> Just once you reach that, then you give it a shit. Shake the string, not your body. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the audience is learning less. Who has an EpiPen? <laughs> so, uh, <w> <laughs> Uh, no, what we're doing is we're actually emulating the human voice here. So, and there's an old clip of, of Eric Clapton when he was still in, in Cream. Uh, he's got like the, the psychedelic SG guitar and stuff. And he's saying this is the hardest lick. Do a full stop, full stop bend. And then when you reach the bend, that's when you put the vibrato in. So, that, so this is what we do as singers um, in order to help sustain a note we eventually start moving the pitch up and down. Uh, we have a singer here, so as you know, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm and a singer as well, technically in the band. <laughs> Anyone I, forgets, I, I'm I, still around. I, I forgot. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so in order to help sustain the note, we actually do that move with our, our voices. So we do this on instruments as well, cello, vibrato, uh, and uh, uh, violins and guitars for sure. So that's what we're actually, that's why it has this very humanistic quality. Cool. Um, but but what Angus, his little fine point there is that the vibrato doesn't happen until he actually achieves pitch, which is very proper voice work. So um, so again, we need to work on that vocally as well. <laughs> Just listen to lots of Roy Orbison. So, and uh, it really is a matter of, uh, of, just, of just like, just moving the string uh, from floor to ceiling as quick as you can. And what you're doing, you're actually making the, the note go flat and sharp. That's very good. Try to get in there. But it, uh, see, that's wrong. Here, that, what's wrong about that is that you're actually doing the vibrato right away. Again, reach pitch. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we don't have enough film. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. we're gonna run out of the celluloid, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, but but that's the move. Now the next, so that, there's that phrase. Da, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Then here's the next reference. Mm -hmm. I actually, um, the next move is, so from that C sharp note that you've bent up, 
actually not. It's already been, you hit it as very good. Um, now, what that's a reference to Roy Nichols' solo in uh, Merle Haggard's Mama Tried, where in the intro, in the key of D, we hear. So what he's doing is he's bending out of the major third down to the major second, and then hits the dominant seven, which creates a ninth voicing. So jazzy. Very jazzy. Oh. Uh, now, the trick here is that in your in, in, in our song, in, in Rain It In. Um, our song? What was this wee stuff? <laughs> Did I come up with a solo? Yes, sir. Did I'm I play sorry. the solo? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm no, sorry. you're right. So, uh, the song that we are discussing, that, <laughs> that, that's where the we came from. Uh, the, at that point, instead of doing that over, if we stayed in A, like just play an A major chord. That creates an A ninth voicing. However, in your song at that point, it goes to a G chord. So now I'm playing the major third and the root of our G chord. So I'm just kind of landing with the chord. That's cool. But secretly putting in a Mama Tried thing in there. So that's the thing to remember there in terms of like signposts we have. Because that helps the audience remember that this is indeed a country song. So something has to. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, it's, it's 2024, okay? I mean, all the synths in there are really all, confusing people. All of, this, all, all of the terms are, are very fluid now. <laughs> Uh, so there's that move. And also, uh, yeah, it just kind of has this, uh, it, it refers to country, but yet also obviously feels like this very solid rock, like 70s yeah. rock move. Um, and then we're, we're in the, in the uh, final stretch here, and we actually move back to our A minor pentatonic. Um, kind of this, uh, um, that, that shape, whatever you want to call it. Actually, you can think of it as a C major shape as well. But it's sad. But it's, it's sad. So, uh, and this is, and this is just, we're just gonna blues that. Very good, very good. So pinky on 15th fret high E, the bend is a full stop on uh, 15th fret uh, B, up and, and. See, now that's very country when you did that. Now I can't remember if I used the pick or if I went country here. I may have used all pick because this just gives it a little more of a rock yeah. feel. And then, um, uh, what, how's the phrase go? Like there, there you go. Yeah. Like so this is really uh, obviously we're, we're leaning into the minor minor blues and end on the root note again here at 14th fret G, ending on our A natural. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then Haley comes back in and tells him to rein it in. And that's how we play the solo to Randy and Cowboy. Shall we play it one more time for the audience? Uh, yeah, let's see if I can remember. Am I gonna play it or are you gonna play it? You can play it. I'll <laughs> practice this at home. I'll watch this tape back. Hold on, look. Uh, close enough. Okay, Do you wanna give me, what, what's that thing you're doing when I'm on the E before? Oh, you know, that's right. right I'm sorry, I, I kind of I kind of feather myself in by... <laughs> I kind of drew, actually it's a ninth fret G and then the open B and E strings. I'm just kind of help build the tension because we're coming off the five chord. So oh, this is the, the great tension. Yeah, uh, and, the, which, and then when the one lands, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, kind of close to it. So, oh, that's cool. you know, play from there. That's how it's done, folks. I just learned my own song. <laughs> thank you, Eugene. For You're welcome. And thank you for having me. me on the record. I had a blast. Thank you for doing it. Thanks, buddy. He thank played on man. another song as well, and maybe we'll have him back to teach me how to play that stupid thing, too. Bye. <laughs> I teach stupid things. <laughs>